This is such a lovely part of Turkey, we decided to live here. This is Chalish Beach. Translated, it means the work beach because 50 years ago, there was a railway line running down the promenade carrying bauxite from the mountain mines to ships at the end of the beach. Now it's a popular resort. And for those who like a relaxed, low key atmosphere, it's one of the best. The three kilometre long sand and shale beach is lined with lovely bars and restaurants and a few hotels. The restaurants offer a mix of Turkish and international dishes and a view cater for the British tastes. And quite a few places do an English breakfast. Because Chalish is a residential area, most of the resort stays open all year round to cater for many foreigners and Turks who have bought properties and retired here. So what about places to stay? Well, there's a huge choice of family-run hotels here on the promenade. Many of the original hotels have been upgraded to a really high standard and a lot of people come back to the same hotel every year. And there's also the Sundia, which is a new hotel by Liberty. But if you don't mind walking a few minutes into the back streets, you'll find numerous other hotels and most of the hotels in this area are all family run. There's hotels and guest houses to suit every pocket here and you can often get great deals online and some are very reasonably priced. So what about getting out and about? Well, the city of Fetier is only three miles away and the bus service from there comes right into the resort here in Chalish. And from early morning till late in the evening, there's a taxi boat which goes from the bridge in Chalish Beach to Fetier, and it's a great boat trip on its own. Or you can always call a taxi and there's a taxi rank on the front of the promenade and there's another way of getting a taxi when you're out and about wherever you see these little yellow boxes which are often on lampposts just press the button and the taxi will be there in a few minutes and another way of getting to Fetier is down the cycle track which goes from the bridge at Chalish Beach and it goes all the way into Fetier and it goes through the lovely big park It's a really beautiful park and there's lots of places to sit and just relax. And it's all lit up at night time. The park is only about a kilometre from Chalice Beach and you can always stop in the park and have a bit of fun. You can get the hang of it. Oh, we're getting quite good at this, lovely. If you want to hire a bike, there are places you can come to. So, how much are your bikes? How much do they start from? 24 hours electric bicycle, 150 lira. Norm normal bicycle, uh, one day, 50 lira. The round trip from Chalice to Fetier and back is about nine kilometers. And from Fetier back to here, I did a film with the GoPro on my head all the way. So if you're interested, take a look at it. The link is, is in, in the, the description. description. So Chalish is renowned for the beautiful sunsets and that's when the bars and restaurants light up. Isn't this 
romantic? Yes, lovely. Lovely dinner, watching the sunset. <laughs> Restaurants and the bars on Chalice Promenade are second to none, and that's why we eat quite often down here. It's seen many changes over the years, but what makes this place so special is the lovely people who run the restaurants and bars. Later on, especially at the weekends, a few of the restaurants sometimes have live music. But one very special place, one of our favourites, is the Yuruk Chadar, or Nomad's Tent, where they play Turkish folk and arabesque music. <laughs> And of course you can always try out doing a bit of Turkish dancing. Chalice is not just a beach front. Just off the beach, there are a few other restaurants, bars and a few shops. So this is like the shopping street of Chalish and it's quite a busy little street with shops and restaurants but there's one little place off this street that most people miss. In fact there's four or five bars here and restaurants. And I'm going to go and sit at this one. Come on, did you get there? So if you want to enjoy a beer and some good music this is the little place to come. And it doesn't end there. A short walk from this roundabout reveals even more of Chalish's secrets. Many of the back street shops, bars and restaurants are used by the local people as well as the tourists. At the west end of the beach, there's a place called Codger Chalice, which is even more laid back with a camping area and a few on-beach restaurants. You always get a welcome breeze here on the front, ideal for water sports and for cooling off. 
There's a few water sports centres along the beach, but the one that's most established is the Surf Cafe. That's it, Trudy's got a paddle and a kayak. It's a great place to chill out. Apart from the water sports, there is another place that's popular with young people and families. So this is Sultan's Aqua Park. This is a great place to bring the whole family and you can stay here for the whole day. There's a restaurant, a bar and there's even sun lounges. If you get fed up of watching the kids, you can always join them. Come on. If you're feeling a little crazy, you can always try the bungee jump. But there are plenty of other exciting slides. Not far from this beach, there's a place where you can try one of the Turkish cultural experiences. And here we are at Sultan Hammam, which is only just off the beach. And if you want a relaxing Turkish bath, this is the place to come. Wow, well, that's amazing how they do that. It's like they get a bag of bubbles. He's letting do my back, isn't he? <laughs> Does it look all fogged up then? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you've got some technique. <laughs> and you never know who's going to be doing your massage. <laughs> And it's quite nice being pampered for an hour or two. Isn't it, lovey? So this is a wonderful place. What about if a lady comes and she wants a massage? Yeah, of course. We have uh, ladies in the Turkish bath who can do the Turkish bath section. Also, we got ladies for the massages. Just okay, they so need the, let us know. Uh, they want the lady and make the reservation, there is no problem about it. Okay, and there'll be a link in the description below as well. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and Chalish also has a great market, which is on a Sunday every week. And it's about a 20 minute walk from the beach and it's a great place to get a few bargains. Chalish market, very, very cheap market. <laughs> <laughs> and it smells of leather, it's really nice. Nice colour, it's Ikki's Early Leather, which is about £22. And the market is in a street called Jäger's Lajadasa, which is a really popular street with lots of restaurants and bars. 
Only about 20 minute walk from the beach area at Chalish. Open all year round and I've done a film about this street and there's a link to that at the end of this film. And what about things to do? Well, there's a couple of agencies on the beachfront selling trips to places like Tulos, the ancient ruins, Saklikent Gorge, and there's several other beautiful places to visit in this area. And of course, there's the boat trips. There are some lovely boat trips going out of Chalish Beach, and we've done a film previously about the boat trips. And the link to the Chalish boat trip is in the description and at the end card of the film. We've done many films about interesting places in and around Chalish and Fetier, and you can find all these videos on our channel, Mick and Trudy. We decided to live around here, not just because of the lovely beach and the beautiful scenery around here, but because of the lovely people who run the bars, the restaurants and the hotels. And it's a big thank you to them for helping us to make this film. So that's it from Chalice. Check out the links in our description and at the end of the film. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss where we go next. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.